All right, I am uh, I am finally here. I just spent like the last twelve minutes, more 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 than twelve minutes. I started uh, trying to get the audio to work. Turns out like a bunch of things were muted, and it was like deep inside the settings, and it was a whole big deal. And then like oh, it, 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 was, it was a mess. It was just a mess. But we fixed it now, and I am ready to start. So let me just switch over to my screen here for a second. Also, of course, you can ignore the schedule on the left side because that's just like not, <laughs> not a thing. It's my first stream. I think someone said in the Discord that this was my first stream in, uh, what was it? First stream in like four weeks, and that was a week ago. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind the schedule. Don't mind the schedule at all. Today, we're going to be working on things. If you have not been following on Twitter or in the Discord, both which are down below, then you probably don't know. Here, let me just switch over. I've been working on this for the past couple of days, and it's a... Well, let me let me pull up the original. The original is this. And I know, I know adjusting the brightness doesn't help you at all. Hey, Swag, how are you doing? I know your comment was a while ago, but I, didn't, I never acknowledged it. Um... Oh, I never changed. I never changed the title of the stream either. I don't know how to do that from mobile. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I've been working on this for the past couple days, and let me see if I can change the the title. I don't want. I don't want to get like reported by by Twitch or something. Oh, here I can. I can. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'll just keep us in creative recoloring. Uh, recoloring an old family photo. So. Basically, I've been going past, uh, I think a couple months ago, I, you've, you've already seen me work on some of these on stream, um, but this was the first time that I'm taking this old family photo, and, and uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is, <laughs> special edition video game, special, video, special edition video game stream is not happening like anytime soon. Hey Slash, what's up? What do you mean? You, I, I'm explaining what's going on. So I've been working on this the past couple days and recoloring this. This is with the the original. First couple things I did was just like the regular like restoring. Although this this photo was kept like really well, so I didn't actually have. <laughs> Wendar is going to show us how to use Photoshop. Yes, there actually like there wasn't a whole lot of restoration to be done. Uh, but just like minor scratches in here and there, then I, I bu then I turned to black and white because when you're recoloring a photo, it's a lot easier to work from a base black and white uh, than like this has like a, like a sepia like faded tone to it. So I just turned to black and white. Then I bumped up the contrast just to give it some more like sharpness and some more feel. And then like I just started going through all of these different layers, building up the colors, building up the the different hues in the in the skins. Uh, I started with, then I went to the hair. Actually, I think I started with the hair, but things are a little bit out of order now. And then, you know, continuing on and continuing on. Let me, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have turned all those off like that because now I can't turn them back on. It's going to take five minutes. As you can see, this is quite a mess to have been working on. So, uh, but we're almost done now and that's good. But I mean, like you can see, there are like trillions and trillions of different layers. Um... And there's still so much to do, and the problem with like this is that it's so complicated because like every little like complex shape and and, and thing. Uh oh, my computer is really laggy. I, let me know how laggy it is on stream. But every little like complex little part, like the hair, you have to do the hair twice, you have to do the face twice, you have to do like the hands twice, you have to do the lipstick twice, you have to do the lips twice, and like there are a ton of different things here because of the mirror. And because of the angle, <laughs> yes, that is color, yes, this is what color looks like. I don't know, I'm very happy with it so far, considering this has been, like, basically my first full, um, colorized piece. Like, I've, I've colorized, if you were watching the stream, um, uh, my last couple streams, and I was working on some coloring of, like, old presidential, like, portraits and stuff. I had done those before, but this is like a first like real life uh, full image colorization, and like one of the most difficult parts of this one specifically was like to get the the skin through like the the um, the dress here 
to have that skin show up because like this is like partially see-through and like here you can partially see through the the veil and all the different layers of lace and everything and I know I thought that was really cool um, I didn't do it back here with the wall it's probably fine <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it how it is <laughs> oh my god slash oh slash is stuff showing up on stream? Is the chat uh, is the chat box showing up? Yeah, okay, it is. Okay, all right. So uh, at this point, what I've been going through is I've been going through. Um, and last night in my Discord, I was sending this to like a couple people, a bunch of people, and they were like giving me some feedback. Like Mad Mike, who drops on stream sometimes, and Swag, who was here, uh, was giving giving me some feedback. So it was like, all right, this will be interesting to work on on stream, so they can give more live feedback. I think the next thing that I'm gonna work on here is the clock. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I see it now. Why do you hate Mad Mike? Mad Mike is a G. Mad Mike is a great guy. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna work on here is the clock. <laughs> you hate him or he's nice or both. So I just start with a solid color. It doesn't really matter what color. Oh god, it's so laggy. Between like the fact that this file is so large and then like the streaming on top of it. This is why I really I would have liked to have recorded um some of the process because unfortunately you're not going to be able to get to see any of it except for today, but um it's just it's just got too laggy. So <clears throat> Why do you think? He, I think you hate him because he's the moderator of the pickup football server and uh, he doesn't let you have fun or whatever. Um, so what, what's good? What's good now is that I'm able to use like the surrounding image to make things easier on myself. So like, see how this is already cut out and I don't have to worry about going over the edge if I play my cards right. So I'm just gonna build up this whole area here. This will give me a nice little outline. I have to get these parts too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been like, it's been so long. <laughs> Mad Mike is racist. Yes, Claire, how are you? I'm, I've been using your strategy. Like, okay, Claire has been helping me so much because last time I was doing colorizing, like she was teaching me about um, how the how the darks or like the shadows in an image aren't are less saturated than than uh than normal so i've been using <laughs> cc claire is a claire is a good friend um so i've been i've been using that to here you go so now we have this whole outline here and then basically it's already uh like outlined for me so i can just come in here select inverse and just start painting in really easily and quickly and just get this done and over with um, Claire, Claire was showing me, we, we figured out like the blend diff, like together thing. And that way I'm able to desaturate the darks, which is how like what normal images look like, except on skin. Skin, the darks are more saturated. I learned that too. <laughs> oh my God, CC. CC, we were supposed to meet in Philadelphia and then you, you, you went back on your promise. You said that I couldn't come. I'm so mad about that. <laughs> yes, Claire, tell him. <laughs> I do, I do, we do need to meet, uh, Cece. Because you promised, you promised and then you went back on it. But yeah, I mean, it's been so long since I streamed. I, to give you an idea of how long since it's been, since I've last streamed, um, I watched the entirety of Curb Your Enthusiasm all nine seasons. <laughs> between now and the last time I streamed and okay and to be fair to be fair I like binge watch really quickly like I watched multiple seasons in a day uh, like across 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 multiple days oh my god CC please stop like harassing people you don't need we don't need that um so I mean, like I'm, I'm really good at being able to binge watch stuff, but uh, still, <laughs> still, it's been a long time since I last streamed, but I'm back now, and that's what's important. And actually, I'll be back hopefully to my normal schedule um, tomorrow. In that, you know, like Friday uh, or Tuesdays from four to six p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
I'll be back on that starting tomorrow, I believe. I'll have to I'll have to check. Those gold clock hands are perfect. I, I, see, I was debating on whether to do... Oh, you know what? Because I think I used to have this clock, actually. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I did have this clock at some point. Huh. That's so weird. I never even realized... Wait, I never even put two and two together. I used to actually have this clock, because this is an old family photo. So this got passed down to me. And I'm pretty sure the, the clock hands aren't actually gold, Claire, but um, I just decided to make them gold. I think that's one of the most fun things about colorizing things, is just like, aside from the skin and the hair, which I took directly from other photos, uh, I just basically get, get to make up whatever I want, and it's like this, it's kind of like a coloring book. It's like, I think I've talked about this on stream before, of how like adult coloring books are like a thing now, because it's like really... Um, it's like super relaxing to just like go and color stuff. And that's basically what this is. And I just get to like, I just get to color it however I want to color it. I'm just going to rotate this around a bit too. Yes, yeah, this is one of the, the picks from the box. Um, uh, so this, so I, you know how like I had, the, I found that old box of... Um, photos this is from one of them this was like so well preserved though like i don't know if you were here just a couple minutes ago when i was showing the original but uh like the i didn't even have to do that much in terms of restorations because this was like okay first of all these these photos were professionally taken because it was at as at a wedding so like i guess my my grandparents just dropped the dropped the money and got like some nice professional photography done and then they had this like super nice uh, like photo album book of like these f these like really awesome full full width page f photos. They, like they're not just like little dinky Polaroids like most of the stuff. Yeah, it, it's really it's really really amazing. Like the fact that it, I mean, and the re one of the reasons why it was kept so well is because like I'm the only one to have opened that box in like the past thirty years. But <laughs> but still still, I was just like you know what. Let me come in now. Uh-oh. What did I just do? Did not want to do that. Shoot. For some reason, I'm finding, like, angles, like, very difficult. You know, yeah, I should I should be going this way. Sorry. <laughs> I hope that didn't, like, hypnotize you. Yeah, this is this is so big. No, no, no. This is not just, like, some Polaroids. So, if you, you've probably seen when I've been going through... Um, some of the old photos from the other, from the box and like a lot of them are like really tiny little polaroids like i was saying like little snapshot things and this is like this is like professionally done and professionally preserved and also like even more professionally done and prof professionally preserved than everything else because everything like was preserved really well because um it was just in a box full of a bunch of other photos and like all that pressure just like being pushed down on things and like keeping it all 100% A-OK. -okay. But then like I was saying, this was in like its own little neat album like with like the like covers and everything. Yeah, like this photo is, it's, it's, it's half the resolution that I would get from my DSLR camera from today. Which is which is still like really really good, especially for an old photo. Like that's really wild. <laughs> so that's why I'm able to zoom in like so far, and I think that's what's so cool about this more so than this. Like that's what made me decide to like color this one more so than others is because like it's so easy and clear to see like when there's like a, a difference between uh, between objects even when you zoom in really 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 far, and that's a really nice thing to see. Makes, it just makes my life a whole lot easier because I have to do less of the guesswork myself. Yeah, l let me see. I, I don't. I don't know if you're here. Let me. Let me just zoom out and let me get to. Let me get to the original. And uh, this is the original. Minus the minus the selection points, and it's a. Uh, I scaled it up. I, I used um, Photoshop's like you know how you can like scale up an image size like this like that. Um, I did that. I did it by 200, so it so the original the original dimensions are half of this basically, but that's still like a really awesome nice pick. 
Yay, CC. So, I mean, it's still like a really nice, awesome pick. Yeah, Claire has, Claire has been a big help. Claire, Claire is helping me out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Oh, I have, um, I have part of my Photoshop window c closed out. So, um, like I said, I, I was using, I was using this to, let's see, that should, that should fit the window better a little bit more. I, I was moving around, I was trying out different things other than like the default, um, other than the default layout for Photoshop because I was moving things around and like I was my my monitor isn't that big because it's just a laptop so it's like a 13 incher but I was trying to work on some Photoshop while watching like Curb Your Enthusiasm at the same time and so I was adjusting the windows and everything um, and then I never put it back to normal for streaming and normal for streaming I have to pull it up a little bit yeah that looks that looks better okay good 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 also, my paint bucket still doesn't work properly. Like my, I know, I know I can be adjusting the tolerance on it, but like, it still doesn't work. Like even when I adjust the tolerance on it, it'll either color in the entire photo, or it'll leave like the tiniest, tiniest little sliver of like uncolored um, bits. So, I know one time I was doing some recoloring, and someone asked why I didn't just use the paint bucket tool. And that's why, like, it just doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it has to do with, like, my computer or the fact that I um, color with a feathered brush or something, but, like, I don't know. It just, like, does not work properly. So I, I have to paint in everything b by hand manually, and that's a little bit more difficult now because there's a lot more lag involved now that I'm streaming. But it's actually not too bad. My computer is, like, chugging along really nicely, though. It's like it's about to explode. It's like it's like steaming. This is gonna be a problem because when it comes like, okay, wait, can we talk about the fact how it was literally 65 degrees yesterday and now today I woke up and it was snowing, and it's spring. Like what is going on with the weather? I I really do not understand. Like it was finally getting nice and I was like, oh, I'm gonna be able to go outside on a regular basis now and like go on some more bike rides and I think. A while ago, I was talking about how I got a bike rack for my car, which for that was I got that for Christmas. But obviously, I haven't been able to use it because it's been freezing cold since then. But um, I've been looking forward to like now, like spring and like good weather, because then I can. I can <laughs> I know the lagging. The lagging is really crazy. Yeah. It's especially bad because like I'm trying to get like precise work done. <laughs> So I just have to go extra slowly. It's actually not too bad. It's not. It's not as bad as I, as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it's not too bad. And the good thing is I've done the majority of the work already, so I'm using. I'm like cheating by using the outlines of all the other stuff to uh, to color this in. So that's not too bad. Um, let me see. It was snow. It was. It was. It was like flurrying in Jersey. I don't know, I mean, I assume it, it apparently came from Philly, it came from a little bit west, uh, CC. It might have been early in the morning though, I think it's it's done now, I'm looking outside now. It was like, it was like a very slight flurry, like there was some snow on the grass, but now, uh, like it got, it got warm enough that it got turned into rain, so that got, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, whatever, being practical, whatever. Uh, so the rain just washed it all away now, but... There was a little bit of like flurrying going on. I'm surprised you didn't see it. I guess it, it just like it just hit the right. It had it had something. No 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 no. It it would have been this morning because it just came through right now. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't have taken that far, long to travel. But I it I it I was reading about it. It had something to do with like the pressure because it because it, it's it was. I mean it never got under 32 degrees today. Uh, but it was still snowing. So it had something to do, I don't know the science behind it, but like something to do with pressure or something, I, I don't really know. So maybe the, maybe the pressure was higher at uh, in Philly or something, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a scientist. All right, here we go. Uh, I hate this stupid thing. I don't know, the, the, the Nikon, like the, why, why is it like that, okay. All right, the Nikon, like, um, the software for the camera is, like, really annoying. I don't know why it's like that. Um, 
but yeah oh so going back to what i was saying about i was i've been waiting like for so long literally since christmas i've been you know people are like oh what are you waiting for christmas i've been waiting since christmas to be able to like get this bike ma a bike rack onto my car so i can like go places and bike around different places and everything and uh it was finally getting warm, like, it was finally getting cons consistently over, like, 40 degrees every day, and then it was just like, nope, today it's gonna snow, so now I have to wait until tomorrow, but I think, I think after today, today was, like, the last, like, cold front coming through, and then after today will be golden, so that'll be fun, because then I'll finally be able to, what I always do is I always, um, I, I save too much, and this, uh, this file takes forever to save now, because as you can see, like, the layer, the layer hierarchy is just, like, so ridiculously, uh, convoluted. Um, <laughs> you have to inflate your wheels, yes. Um, do you bike a lot, CC? I didn't know that you biked a lot. What is, like, the, what's the biking scene in Philly? Fun fact, I have biked through, um, no, sorry, I biked through San Francisco when I, on, when I was on vacation there a couple years ago, and I biked across the Golden Gate Bridge. That was really, 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 really fun. And then I also, uh, I think last summer, last, last spring, when I, when I was visiting New York one time, I, um, I, I rented a bike and I biked through uh, Central Park. So I've I've been like I've been through like two major landmarks on each side of the on each coast on each end of the of America. I don't know that was really cool. I think Central Park is like such a nice place to bike, even though uh, some parts of it is kind of annoying because there are like walkers and runners. And but I mean just the fact that there's like a separate bike lane, or you know like the street is for bikers slash runners. That's really nice because because it, it gives you more space to like go and as fast as you want really. Um, not like mountain biking or big excursions. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. No, no, because I, I mean, I don't go... Actually, I might, I might go mountain biking later in the week. I have a friend. I have a friend who's really into mountain biking. And I have... <laughs> I have a mountain bike, even though I don't do any mountain biking. Just because <laughs> that's what I use. Uh, and I'm too cheap to buy a new bike, even though I desperately need one. So, like... If we ever go road biking, he'll just, you know, fly right past me because it can go so much quicker than I can. Because he can go so much quicker than I can. But let's see. I don't know. I don't know what color I'm gonna make this. I wanted this to be sort of like a muted. Gr oh, that looks good. I this is like a strange material up here though. Um, like there's this like it's like meta It's like shiny, glassy. Um, <clears throat> Oh, did you? Hey, Mad Mike, did you just curse or something? Because I didn't see what you said. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I I meant that. So, Cece, how do you? Are there like? Are there any? I mean, I haven't. I'm not actually. I've only visited Philly a couple times. Even that's kind of sad to say. But like, what's like the? Are there like parks that you go to bike by? Like, do you ever? Do you ever bike for fun, or is it just to? Is it just to get to places? <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Like the, because I enjoy biking because oh, getting back to what I was saying is, when you, when am I going to take on commissions? I'm going to take on commissions after I finish this piece. Cause this will be. This will be my. Uh, the, I'm I'm gonna I'm actually I'm thinking about Fiverr, Claire. Tell this is Fiverr like a good place to start. I don't know, like, if that'll get me any work or not. I know you said do the thing on Instagram. I've been I've been building up my Instagram a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's in the description of this or not yet. Just Wendar's World. Wendar's World on uh, Instagram, I think. Um, <laughs> but, but it's mostly just been, like, spam bots, like, following me, which is a little bit annoying. Um... Let me see. But yeah, but I, I was planning on using this to like start my Fiverr my Fiverr stuff. My Fiverr career. I don't know I don't know you're like the expert in terms of like freelance work. I don't know if that will work or not. Uh ring. And I actually I started naming my layers. Like I I knew I had to do that for this project, because otherwise it would have just been way 
way, way, way too crazy. But I, I started that. Um, CC, you always bike for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because you, well, you said you use it to get around town, so I thought like, okay, wh whatever. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Biking. Biking is fun. I have a, I have a family friend who's like super into biking. Um, but on nice days, it's pleasant to bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, bicycle. Mad Mike, I feel like you're kind of, you're the type of person that has a motorcycle, right? Uh, Fiverr, it's easy to get underpaid. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're, you, you would definitely not be able to work on Fiverr, Claire, because you would absolutely get underpaid. I'm, I actually, I'm okay with, um, got to just try and think. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose I'll try it. I'll, I'll always, I'll, I can always try it, and then if it doesn't work out, I'm, I, I'm actually okay with getting underpaid, if that makes sense, so, um, like, I don't really have that many expenses right now, so, uh-oh. Here we go. So I'm okay. Oh no, the lag is so bad right now. Um, I'm okay with getting underpaid. I don't really mind it as of right now, especially if it means like just getting my foot in the door because I'd rather have some money than no money, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm not actually too concerned with like not getting enough because I know that Fiverr definitely isn't like the best in terms of like a long-term, uh, financially st stable career, but it is just like, I don't know, I assume it's just like a good place to get, get started, right? And so that was my thinking behind it, but I guess you're right, is I can always just try it, and then if it works out, it works out, and if it doesn't, not. Um, and I have my own website as well, so this will be going up on there too, but I'll just be directing people to go back to Fiverr if they ever want to commission me. But, I mean, for something like recoloring, and especially this photo that has been so complicated, uh, I would absolutely have to charge more for, like, something like this if I was going to do a commission piece. Because, I mean, this photo alone has taken me multiple, multiple, multiple hours. And that's partly because it's the first time I've ever done something of this scale, but still. Like, that's a lot. <laughs> so that, that wouldn't be something that I would charge only $5 for. But maybe 10. I, mean, I might do it for 10, and even then that would be a little. Um, oh, I have to catch up. Uh, you want a motorcycle, Mike, but you don't have one. You ride a boosted board around town? The boosted board, that's like the Swagway thing, right? Oh, no, 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 that's the, that's the skateboard. Uh, that's the skateboard with the, with the motor in it, right? I want the bike with the motor in it. That's what I want. Like the... Uh, like the bikes where you can pedal and you generate a bunch of energy and then you can just like if you're going up a hill or something you can just turn on the motor and it'll do all the work for you that would be so nice uh, that I would definitely do I don't really know what's going on here this is a difficult area to color in alright let me let me catch up with the chat some more he comes <laughs> here he comes riding his hoverboard again Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what? Reddit is a good place too, Claire. Sorry, I'm I'm really slow. I'm I'm like into this. Sorry, uh, I'm just catching up. So you sent that like ten minutes ago, <laughs> but yeah, I I could <laughs> like one or two innocent. Omg, look at this colorized photo I did. Totally not an ad to like you know buy a commission from me. Just it happened to be on here. It's so cool, right? Uh, you have a hoverboard, the two wheels facing forward. I, I oh oh yeah, the hoverboard thing is really dumb. Segway. Really, segways are expensive, but segways are just the the hoverboards, but without the the rail, right? Oh, I have to um, I have to rotate this around. I f I'm so sorry because I'm really behind on the chat right now. <laughs> I'm, re I'm responding to things from like five minutes ago. Okay. I just have to I have to turn it to a way that will make this thing easier for me. And the I mean like you could argue that I could be using the pen tool here, but for, I don't know I I actually prefer using the uh, even though I'm not getting straight lines for some reason it's, it just it just leads to like a more natural look. 
although with the lag it's it is much harder to get a good line here um <clears throat> Yeah, no, no, uh, Claire. Yeah, I I know people charge more than five dollars on Fiverr, but I, I I'm saying I would I would list my thing as five dollars, and then like if it's a really complicated photo, like something like this, I would uh, I would have to say, yo, you have to give me more, because <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more time to do. All right. Let's see. Let me let me keep going. Basic colorization for for ten dollars and thirty dollars for advanced, and. See, I don't know, because I went on Fiverr, and it seems like, like everyone is just lowballing everyone, right? That's kind of like the thing, because you're all just competing against everyone else. And the lowest you can go is $5. So my, my fear is that if I list myself for anything more than $5, is that no one will, uh, no one will buy it. <laughs> or no, no one will even see it. Sorry, no one will even see it, because... Uh, everyone's looking for the five, because, like, when you search, you know, people then, like, sort by lowest price, and they'll go, and I don't think people are smart enough to realize that it takes a lot more than five dollars worth of your time to make a really good colorized photo, and so they just keep buying the five dollar one, and they say, oh, yeah, I guess it's crap, but I paid for five dollars, and then, you know, give the guy five stars, and then that guy is now higher up in the rankings again, the search rankings again. I don't, that I maybe I'm overthinking it, but that's what I feel like would happen. Um, okay, see you later, Claire. Ha, good luck, good luck at your shoots. Oh, you know, I still I don't know if you're still here or not, but I never uh, I never watched your your live stream your live stream shoot. I still have to do that because that's probably super interesting. The underwater one is that on my screen? No, okay. Um, <laughs> hey fake hey Bryn, what's up? Uh let's see. Five dollars should be like twenty minutes. Okay, if five dollars for twenty minutes, yeah, so <laughs> this would be like hundreds of dollars then. Cause I've spent five hours on this. Let me see. Just list it five dollars and pull it. Yeah, see, see, see. I think that's what people are doing. That's what people must be doing, right? Is they list it five dollars, but there's no way they're actually doing it for five dollars. There's no way. It's just not possible. So I could always do that too, and just say, "Ooh, this photo is gonna take some more time. You have to give me more than five dollars." And that way, I'm at the top in the uh, searches, but I'm still actually making money. That is a reasonable amount. Uh, and not just, like, <laughs> working as a slave, basically. Claire's underwater shoot was awesome. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I know, yeah, she was telling me about the VOD, because I missed it. I, I was going to stay up. She always streams so late, so it's hard for me to watch her stuff now, especially, like, on weekdays. Um, but I'm definitely going to watch the VOD when I get a chance, obviously. Not right now, but I will. I will go back and watch it. Um... Claire, Claire knows boop in that. <laughs> okay. Five times... Okay, wait, hold on. Right, let me see. It's like people who can list cars... That's true. That's true. It's like people who list cars at one dollar. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. That makes more sense. So I'll, I can just go and list at one dollar and then knowing full well that I'm not actually going to charge one dollar... Or five dollars. Five dollars. Knowing full well that I'm not actually charging five dollars for something like that. That works. Does that work? I don't know if that works. Let's see. Let's maybe, let's do like a red, a red. There's not a lot of red in this photo. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I can. Uh, let's see. May I ask your time zone? No, no. I'm I'm actually East Coast. I'm East Coast. But Claire is um, Claire is Central time which is an hour behind me. So if she's getting on to stream at like 10 o'clock, that's 11 o'clock for me. And it's like, I, I can't really stay up that late on, on a weeknight. I, it's, actually, it's actually probably easier for you uh, being European, right? Because that's probably really early in the morning for you, right? I assume. 
I don't know. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I like getting my sleep. I like. I need my sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, that is technically a more complicated image. Uh, let's say some logic that this is going for 50 to 60. That would be tell 10 to 12 an hour. And you don't want to wake for... No, I'm okay with working for on uh, min as minimum wage. On uh, I'm okay with working for minimum wage. Ooh, I like this. Let's go with like a blue, a muted blue, purple kind of thing. I'm okay with working minimum wage or even less than that. Uh, certainly the first couple. Just to keep building a, a portfolio. Uh, Mike. Um, I'm just getting to that now, sorry. But I, I do get your... Let me let me scroll up because you, you had some math going on. Or CC is doing some math here. I don't, I don't get this, the math that CC was doing up above the 5 times 3 equals 15 times 5. What, where are those numbers coming from? <clears throat> um, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Okay. The five dollar the rate the rate is based on an estimate of time needed. You estimate five hours for a project, and it's five for every twenty minutes of estimated work. Oh, so oh 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 oh, I'm sorry. So you're 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 just you're just we're moving on from the fact that, like like the five dollars is just to get the foot in the door, right? And then everyone knows that we're not actually charging five dollars for it. If you are paying tax on that income, you definitely want at least minimum wage. Well, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be paying tax on it until I get uh, six hundred dollars. I think it is. So that's why I'm saying the first couple I could work for less than minimum wage, and then I'd have to start charging more. I I would just, I would just be in, I would just increase the the charge with every project basically until I got to something that was until I got to something that was actually satisfied. <laughs> I came here for Photoshop, not finance. Yeah, wait. There's too much. There's too much math going on. Uh, oh, Bryn, you're saying you have to choose between staying up late for cats or wake up early for the. Oh, yeah. See, right. So that's what I'm saying. So the ukulele, Claire's ukulele streams are very early. Or yeah, very early. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> see, I can't do either, Bryn, because I either. Well, I can stay up late, but then I'll, then I'll be I'll be all crapped out the next day. All right, I'm gonna try to go with like a nice. Uh, this is not this is not gonna be the color that I end up going with, but I'll I'll roll with it for now. Let's see where where is the uh, where's the clock? Was this the clock? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Some of the colors I kind of doubled up on, which maybe I shouldn't be doing because it doesn't look as good, but. Um, Okay, if you're paying t uh, $5 every 20 minutes, so $15. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. You're, you're going based on $5 every 20 minutes. Okay. Oops. Um, that makes sense. Okay. So that's 15, but that's not, oh, yeah, yeah that's 15 an hour. Okay, yeah, I'll go. With, I, that's a good idea, actually. Let me, let me just write that down. $5. 20 minutes, uh, 15, one hour. Okay. And then if you're, yeah, that makes sense. That's a, that's a good, that's a good, okay. Why, why this, why now? Math, <laughs> too much math. Uh-oh. Uh, did it just say that Photoshop like blanked out? It did, it did, but Photoshop isn't, didn't crash or anything, so I don't know why it said that. Oh, I should have I should have got the clock too, because now I kind of have to be careful around the edges here. Let's see. Too much math. I can't do this. You bet you're a better ukulele player. I don't know. Have you seen any of Claire's vods? Because she's a pretty good ukulele player. I have to say. I have to admit. Especially because she just like picks it up on the fly. Well, I mean, like she has, mu I mean, like she has music to go with it. But I'm saying, some of the stuff I'm sure she's never played before, and she's able to play it. I think there are some vods up of some of the ukulele stuff, but I think she usually takes them down. You'll have to, you, you can check. You can always just go back and check yourself. 
Five dollars per minute of work. I'm a sc <laughs> CC. <laughs> CC has just lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of the VODs are up, the ukulele VODs, if you would like to watch. All right, these are like some knobs. I'm not really sure what these things are, but I'm going to try to paint them like some sort of metallic color. Um, oof. And like screws. Why are there screws there? It doesn't make sense. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to argue with that. I, they look like screws, right? I think I'm getting paid 33 an hour. <laughs> that's true. You know what, Mike? That's true. Because you're getting paid a lot just to watch this. <laughs> so maybe I should be making some money. I never thought about it that way. I see, I'm liking this. This is good. You guys do all my math for me. Get me a nice, nice hefty salary while I work. And then I don't even, I, I just come back and everything's already solved for me. All of my problems are solved right for me. Seriously, why are there screws here? These are screws, right? Like, what, what is this? I don't get this. It's inside the glass here or something. But why? And why are they so large, too? Oh, you know what? These might be like... No, no, they're not. I don't know what this is. I have this clock, too, I think. I think I still have it. I'm not sure. That's why I went with the green, by the way. I think Mike was wondering why. Yeah, old clocks are so weird. <laughs> what do you think me and Claire should name our first kid? <laughs> Something on topic of this piece. I hate all the colors used for this clock. Okay, 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 okay. Well, suggest something. You're right here. Why don't, instead of just being a negative Nancy, why don't you actually suggest a color? It's not, like, I don't have to listen to you, but it's not like, it, like, don't just sit here and complain. Suggest something better if you want to see it. And, and I mean, like, you see here, my layers are made up. It, just tell me and I can just check it. And if I don't like it, I can always change it back. Like, super simple. Don't just say, I hate this. I, don't, I, I hate this. Like, suggest something better, you know? Right, here we go. And by the way, by the way, this is not the final color, obviously. Just for, for the clock face, at least. <laughs> These colors suck. I'm out. Oh, no, Bryn. Bryn, I think you're going to be my 25th follower, Bryn, if you, uh, if you follow me, if you just hit me up with a follow. I, I, my, uh, my notification sounds are so low, I, and like, I'm not watching the, st the stream, so if anyone ever follows me or anything, I can't see it, which is kind of defeats the purpose of the notification, but oh well. I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not too good at this. Alright, let's see. I hate these colors. I'm out. I'm never watching this ever again. All right. Just wrecked swag. I didn't see. What did you do? Why are Why are you coloring the glass? Is it gonna go? Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Swag. This is. I. I haven't turned on the blending modes yet. I'm not keeping it like this. This is just. This just makes it easier for me to see what I'm actually coloring. It will go. It will go behind the glass when I'm done. I, I assume you haven't been watching this whole time, so you don't. You haven't seen how this works yet. But I put down the original layer like this, and then I fix it afterwards, basically. Because otherwise, I can't. Otherwise, I mean, I can see what I'm doing, but it's a lot more difficult to see what I'm doing. All right. I don't know why I'm getting like weird like coloring in here too. That's strange. All right, Tom. Tom is here. Hello. Oh, no. Okay. See you later, Bryn. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Okay. All right. Wait. So Swag, you'll see in a second here. And whoops. I'll show you in a second when I finish coloring this in. And like I said, oh, you were the one uh, last time when I, I was doing something similar, and I couldn't use the paint uh, the paint bucket. Because Photoshop obviously has that, but I can't use it 
because it doesn't work or like not I don't know there's something that I'm doing wrong or like that makes it makes it very difficult for me to use the paint bucket and I don't know what it is I don't know if it's like the brush that I'm using or what but uh. <clears throat> so I have to color everything in by hand even after I already outlined it all and that just complicates the process some more, takes some more time. Very lumpy brush. <laughs> no, but the lumpiness, the lumpiness has nothing to do with it. Oh, the lumpiness is because of the lag, so like it, I can't, I can't control my strokes very well. But that's not what this is though. Like look at this, I don't know, I, didn't, you, I mean you can't tell how laggy it is I don't think because you're not here in the room with me. The lumpiness is because two things. So I have I have it set to um, pressure sensitive on my tablet, but because of how laggy it is, like I can't really tell what I'm doing, and so the pressure is just like popping all around randomly. Is the music is the music good? The music is good for me, but I can turn it up for you all, or turn it down. <sighs> and I, I should just be using a smaller brush. Patreon when? Would you actually would you actually support Swag? Would you would you donate money to the Patreon? Because if people actually want to do that, then I'll do it. But I wasn't gonna do it yet because I I just assumed that no one would wanna uh, donate or to tip me. I think you're supposed to call it tips now on Twitch because it's not technically a donation. So you're like not supposed to call it that or something. Whatever you call it on a, you pay, you pay, you would be you would be patroning me. Uh I am using a Huion tablet. It's like some I believe Chinese, but it might be Japanese. Uh it's it's basically like the it's like the Chinese knockoff of the Wacom tablets. But it's actually really good. But for like a quarter of the price. And I've been using this for a long time. I don't. I don't. Uh, I think it's the H six ten H H six ten or something. I forget what what model it actually is, but it's it's really good. And I'm set. I set up the stream in OBS. Uh, I had. To, that's why I was a little bit late today because uh, OBS was not working. Well, OBS was working, but like the the audio was all off. It was, it was a whole big thing. It was it was a whole big thing. All right, let's see. Let's just finish coloring in here, and then Swag, you'll get to see. It's my money, okay? I choose how to spend it. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be patronizing me. Yeah, Swag, would you patronize me if I opened up a Patreon account? <laughs> is that seriously what it is? Patronizing is a different thing, but is that also applicable? Mike is here. I thought you already knew Mike was here, Slash. Oh yeah, oh, Slash and Mike were beefing. Uh, he, he was dragging you, Mike. I guess you missed that. Oh, I have to do an Office rewatch soon, too. Because that is a good show. I do an annual... So I do an annual rewatch of The Office every year, usually during the summer. But the thing is, like, The Office, here you go, see, Swag? I don't know if you're still watching. Would, you, you would. Would you, seriously patron, would you seriously patronize me? Here you go, Swag. So it's, it's transparent now. If you would seriously patronize me, then I would, uh, I would all open one up. Immediately. Because I'm not going to turn down money. Let's see, let's get, like, a... What about that? Oh, you know, oh, Mike, you never, you never suggested any colors. I hate the colors for this, but I'm not going to suggest anything different. I'm just going to complain that I hate the colors. But Swag, don't you hate the colors though? I hate the colors. All right, let me just save that right now. I still have to do the screws, and I'm gonna. I, just, I guess I'll just keep these like a cream white. These uh, these little pointer things. And then everything else is fine. The screws, actually I could potentially keep the screws just silver like that. 
Because that doesn't look awful. I might, I, I, I might color it with like the silver top here, like this silver color here. Maybe not. Probably a brown, yellow, old for what? For the, for what? There are like 10 different parts of the clock here. What, what would you color brown, yellow, old? <laughs> also, old isn't the color. <laughs> the auto mod actually sucks. The auto mod should be like banning y'all. Because this is supposed to be a PG stream. Actually, it's supposed to be a G stream, I think. I don't know, I just, I set it up with like almost the, almost the most stringent, um, almost like one level away from being the most stringent. Let me get this little part here. The green is the problem. Okay, let me, low. Well, then I won't color this real quickly then. What is wrong with the green? I think it just has to be more faded, right? But that's the thing, like, it's not my fault. Like, this material is just so strange. Like, this this material here. Hmm. What would you want, like, an old rusty green? This, this stream is definitely not even PG-13. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. An old rusty green. That's what I'm trying to go for, but... Like that? That's just like an ugly color. And the thing is like it has to have, it can't be an old rusty green because it has this reflection. So like it's clearly like a new and pristine, you know what I mean? Kona cotton old green. Whoop. Uh oh. Uh, hold on. I just dropped everything. Kona Cotton Old Green. I'm gonna Google it on my phone so I can't read the chat, hold on. Isn't Kona like the thing in Hawaii? Kona Cotton Old Green. All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, that's basically what I have right now, right? It's just like, a, like that? I'm just eyeballing it right now. Like that, maybe? I think that is that is a little bit better. But it's not like this matte material, though. Like, I imagine, like, this color on, like, a matte material, but this is, like, a shiny, like, glossy material, so it can't look, like, old and, like, faded. Cause it's like, it has, it's like a metallic, there's like a metallic shine to it, or like a plasticky shine. Delete the reflection. Well, what, what do you mean delete the reflection? I'm not gonna go in and like, no, no, cause I don't wanna go in and change, I don't wanna go in and change the, like the actual photo. The point is to colorize it, not to like make it look different. All just because you have, all just because you have a a problem with the color of like one of the things. I'm gonna change this though. What about that? I don't know. I mean, I think you're right. I think you are right, but like. I don't know. I just don't, I don't know how to explain it. Let me change this back to color. Maybe that will help some. And then like really. I don't know. I don't know. It does seem weird. There's like something. It's like too glowy. What about that? And like, what if I like lower the opacity of it or something? So it's like very subtle. And it's still like, it's still like basically gray. It was glossy wood, enameled wood. Most old clocks with that shine would be wood. 
No, 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 no. Uh, so you're saying make it brown? Huh. There is like something off about it. I don't know how to. Oh, because you know I have the uh, the color, the opacity down. What if I do something like that? What about like that? I think that looks a little bit better, right? <clears throat> um, definitely light if you go wood. Contract the table unit thing. What is it? I don't know what that means. Hey Johnny Cake, thanks, thanks for saying that. Uh, this is my first like attempt at a major colorization piece, so I mean, if you need some tips, just uh, just watch. <laughs> what about that? What does that look like to you? Does that better? You think that's pretty good? I think that it is a little bit better. What I will do is I'll come in here though. And like, it's not very saturated. I'll come in here and do the clock darks. I think this this is this is what will really help it because because there, there is this this is some of the stuff that I have to do usually. If I get that, watch just watch just wait a second. If I just take the dark colors here. And like, if I, once I desaturate the darks, it starts looking a lot better. Watch, I'll show you. So you come down here, desaturate it almost completely, change it back to color. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that didn't help a lot though. Uh, what about that? I think that, that helps a little bit, honestly. Oh, yo, Kenneth, what's up? Uh, let me see. I think that looks better. Might help to separate the clock faces into their own colors. The clock faces into their own colors? Huh? You mean the, uh this top and side from like this front part front part thank you this photo is awesome <laughs> kenneth the goat uh the brown in the wood of the table in the mirror that's a dark brown i suggested lighter brown maybe even a cherry oh 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 okay let's see your movement in the front the front being as light as the top looks unnatural to me yeah i have to agree with you on that uh swag Uh, maybe I can change that. Maybe I can do like a really quick like change up job here. Um, let me just change this real quick. If I just go like this, <laughs> this is like a really crappy job of it. But this will just give me an idea of what it will look like basically. You're saying something like that, basically, uh, Swag? I think even just that looks so much better. Doesn't it? Like that. Ooh, I like, oh, I like that. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. So it, you have like that, that little grill. It's like, it's a very slight, it's very slight, but you see it, right? You see the, the differentiation there. And I think I can actually push the effect a little bit more if I color that. 
with black. Let me do it with like 50% opacity. I'm just gonna do like a really rough job. Cause I still want some of that brown to be showing through. But like keep it like that. Yeah, it does look better, it looks better. Okay, there we go. Teamwork, yeah! Awesome! Good job, guys. Proud of you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little bit messy, but okay. That's fine. Cool. Cool beans. Okay, so now, Mike, you were saying to bring the the uh, the wood, the desk wood, up some, the the color of the desk wood, the dresser. See, okay, see, I like that idea, but I tried that. I already did try that, and I actually did bring it up a little bit in color, but it's not perfect. Uh, where is the desk? The desk should technically be on top, but I, don't, I think at this point it doesn't really matter much. Okay, that was a nice $33. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, okay, see ya. Uh, he did it! Wendar is the goat! See you later, Mike. Uh, I do do retouching, uh, Johnny. And uh, this photo was like, kept in a really amazing condition, so I actually didn't do a whole ton of retouching on it. Uh, I didn't have to. Um, but I did, so like if we, if we zoom in for a second and then like I go back to the original, it's like super laggy, but like, so I took out like a lot of these old scratches here, like these scratches, these marks, um, in here, all that. I took all of that out. Uh, it, it's hard to see because it's laggy, but uh, yeah, I, I do. I do do retouching. Or restoring. I do some, are you talking about for like, for like portrait work, is that what you mean? Like, like, is that what you mean, retouching? All right, let me see. So Mike suggested that I change the color of the table a little bit. So let me, I, listen, I can play with it, but I'm telling you, I've already tried to make it lighter and it didn't work. How do you hide every layer? Uh, if you do Alt, if you hold down, I'm, I'm on a Mac right now. If you hold hold down Alt, the Alt Option key, and then you click on the eye, you hide all but that one. It's actually it's a really great feature because then because you can always go back to the original. No window, not the table. Just don't make the clock brown. Oh, well the clock brown isn't the same as the table brown. Oh wait, oh wait, oh oh oh, I see, I see. Oh, you want to make this like a <laughs> not that obviously not that, but like more of a ch oh I like that okay, more of like a chestnutty like get some more reds in there oh no get some more oranges in there yeah 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 no problem Johnny just just let me know I you know I should be having one of those things you know how like you have like some of those some people have like the thing where, wait, I just messed up that color. Here we go. There we go. That's good. I do like that. Mm, mm. See, this is, he's doing it. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's working. It's all coming together. I like this. I like this input. See, it's so much easier. It's so much easier when I, when I have people helping me out here. Okay, I do like that. You're right. That's a good idea. See, I would have never even thought about that. There you go. There you go. Okay, it, that looks good. I like it now. Is that better now? Are the colors better now? Uh, you also work around PPS, so I love to see this. PPS, are you just talking about Photoshop? I don't know. 
Ooh, is that just a typo? I'm just saving. It takes forever to save. So whenever I, I always save way too often because I'm like really uh, scared that I'm gonna lose any little tiny bit of work. And then in in, in the case of this document plus streaming, the the saving takes like thirty seconds. Yeah, Photoshop. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, what do you do? What do you do in Photoshop, Johnny? Do you do um? Do you do, do you take photos or do you like make composites or something? Like are you a photographer yourself or, or do you just do composite work and things like that? Swagger, are you still here by the way? Or did you leave too? Where are you? Let me know how that looks, Swag, because I don't think you got to see it with the, with the new updated colors. Oh, oh, you did. I think you did. I'm liking it. It's coming together. Pieces coming together. The playoff picture's coming together. Watch it unfold. Whoops. Oh, God, the lag. Okay, sorry. Sorry if you're getting, like... I apologize. All right, we're coming down to here. I'm going to do this. I don't actually know what this is. It looks like, um... Like, this little thing here is like, uh... I have... I honestly have no idea. <laughs> Stop. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, uh, Swag. So, would would you would you really uh would you really do you really want me to make a Patreon, Swag? Is that or were you just joking around about that? Because I'll do that when this stream is over if you want me to. Yeah, sorry, Tom. I'm not gonna. I won't. I won't bring up the the football playoffs ever again. Um, professionally, you work for a real estate company, but is but personally, it's a mix. Oh, okay. So, so do you? Are you one of those people that does um? Oh, what's it called? Like the thing where you like, you like um, put furniture into a blank room, because like that's really cool. Uh, do you do that? All right, think, I'm labeling this thing on desk because I have no idea what it is, and I'm gonna be changing the color of it too. Like you, there are like, I I don't I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly, but there's like, <clears throat> okay, all right, swag, okay, okay, swag, okay. Join the Discord if you're not in it already. I mean, I know you are, but I'm just saying for everyone. There's a link down below if you want to join the Discord. That's really helpful. Um, Johnny, I was saying, um, because you said you work with a real estate company, do you do anything with Photoshop professionally? I, I'm talking about what, like, what you do in Photoshop. Because some people in real estate use Photoshop to do, um, I, don't, I don't know what it's called. But I, I'm not, and I'm not really explaining myself properly. But there's like a, where well you basically you take like an empty room, and you can like do, like you, you can like insert furniture into it, right? I don't. Is that what you do? I don't know. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Cause that always seemed cool, and that but that's like that's like compositing stuff. So. I mean, coloring coloring is like. I don't want to say it's difficult. I honestly, there's nothing really difficult about using Photoshop. There's time consuming and there's not time consuming. <laughs> there's there's quick and there's time consuming. But there's not like there's there's not really like difficult. I mean that's 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 kinda like that's how I view it at least. And it's certainly time consuming, yeah. I, I was we were talking about we were we were we were all doing the math earlier about uh, how uh, how long like this is taking me and how much I should charge for this. I mean, it's, this is a personal project, but if, if I were to charge on this, I mean, I've, then this, is, this has been more than five hours worth of work. It's now up to six with, the, with this stream, and it'll be up to seven by the time I'm done. Although I've been distracted by the chat, so I'm certainly, I'm moving at a slower pace than I was like last night or two nights ago. But at the same time, I'm gaining some speed because I'm getting better at this. I have a better idea of a better understanding of what I'm doing. And like, for example, I'm using the, the outlines of stuff that I've already done to make my job much easier, my, the, the process much easier. I trust the process. Um, I suppose, I suppose you are, you have left Johnny, I suppose, because you're not responding. But I see how it is. No, I see. You don't care. You try to make conversation. And no one, no, no one likes talking back. I see how it is. 
Um, one of the other things that I did, I was talking about how I watched all of Curb Your Enthusiasm uh, between now and the last time I streamed. I also went back and rewatched. Hold on, so let me just take that off the list. I have uh, in front of me, I, I, at my desk I have in front of me a whiteboard. And I write down a bunch of stuff that I can always bring up on stream. So in case there's ever like a lull in the conversation, like now, I can just like look up and I have a whole list of things to talk about. And so, I mean, aside from Curb Your Enthusiasm, which I love, by the way, I think um, I might. You sent me a secret message. Uh oh, did you send it to me on uh, Twitch or on uh, whatever it's called, Discord? because I do not see it. But I will check it out in a second. Or when I'm done streaming. Is it something, is it time sensitive? Do I need to like, do I need to stop, drop and roll, stop everything I'm doing and, and, and pick it up right now? Through Steam, Streamlabs, what's Streamlabs? Oh, is that the, uh, did you send me money? Because I didn't see it. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad if you sent me money. <laughs> Mike Mike if you sent me money and I didn't say anything I'm very sorry because I can't hear anything what stream labs I honestly forgot okay no one's ever sent me money before that's exciting I'm excited now I hope it's not <laughs> I hope it's not some like troll. You know, there used to be a thing, I don't know if it's still a thing, but you can apparently send money on stream lab stream labs. And uh and then like people would like they'd send like thousands of dollars worth of tips and then they you can like take it back. Like you can um I, I, I don't know why is that a feature. I have no idea why that's a feature. So you can send someone like literally, literally a thousand dollars, and then you take it back, and if you like ask for the refund, it charges that person. It charges that person. So people, you, so you, it doesn't make any sense. So you can you can charge people money. I don't know. It's like so weird. Like you can you can cost them money by just charging them random stuff. Right, do you know what I mean? And then just refunding it and refunding it and refunding it and getting asking it for it back. But I think I think uh, PayPal and Streamlabs have finally like, cra um, they finally came down against that, so you can't do that anymore. I hope I don't know. I hope it's not an April Fool's prank that you sent me. Did it pop up on screen at all? Because if not, then I have I have plausible deniability to say. Hey, it didn't pop up on stream, so that's why I couldn't thank you for it. And the music is coming through fine, so I should have been able to hear it. <clears throat> Although I may have been talking. What I do really need is a second monitor, which I actually... Um, I have this app called... It's called Duet. And it, it, it allows you to plug your phone in as a second monitor. But I tried to use it, and the problem with it is that it made my computer like so laggy to have to do. So I'm not sure if that's because of the app or because just because my my computer can barely handle a second monitor. But I would like to have a second monitor so then I can actually see when things like that actually happen. Because as of right now, I can't. I have no idea what's going on. Um, and e like even like to check the volumes and stuff, even to check like the volumes of the stream and everything, I can't. I can't do it without showing it on stream, um, which is very difficult. That's very difficult to work around. But I make it work. I don't know. Kind of kind of a pro. What what can I say? All right, we have this. I don't know if this should be all one color or not. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'll certainly check it out. <laughs> so that's obviously way too saturated. Um, let me see. When Daddy is a God. When Daddy is a God. I'm looking for something like this. The problem is I don't like. I'm. I'm. I'm like. I'm starting to get very similar colors here. 
and that was not the intention. Maybe something like that, like an even less saturated version, even less saturated. Like a very, very like pastel, because I, I don't even know what that is. Like it, it's hard for me to color something when I don't even know what it is. It's uh, is it like a it's like a perfume box or something. Does anyone know what that is? I I have no idea. Okay, um, and then it's sitting on top of like a little, a little case of some sort. And I suppose that should be pink as well. I don't know. I feel like I'm just doing too much like pink pink stuff. It's a very pink area here, you know, because I already did, I did the suitcases pink. But uh, I don't know, and I can't do green. E oh, maybe blue. Oh, oh, yeah, like a nice, like, like a nice light blue because there's blue up here, there's blue in the eyes, there's blue over here. So we need the blue on the bottom to like balance out the blue in the photo. That's a good idea. Okay, good idea, me. Thanks, me. All right. This is gonna be another difficult one to do. Let me just wait for it to save. Stop, drop, and roll, wait for it to save. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so let me get back to the thing that I was saying like 20 minutes ago about, uh, uh, okay, so I, I watched all of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Really great show, I love that. I think, I was telling someone about that. I guess, I guess it wasn't on stream because I, I haven't streamed since I started watching it, but, or like I streamed, I was just contemplating starting to watch it, and that's when I streamed. Maybe I don't know, um, and uh, it's really great. It's it's such like a, just such a such a genius show. It really is. All right, let's pick out a nice cool color here. But the other thing that I watched between now and I like that. This is like a nice like powder blue. Um, this will be like the case again. I don't exactly know what I'm coloring here, but eh, it's okay. All right, so we, oh, that's not right. Here we go. <clears throat> As we build up, have you ever seen Curb Your Rap Battle? <laughs> when Daddy, you like When Daddy? <laughs> when Daddy is, like, is, a dumb, is a dumb nickname, but okay. Uh, curb Your Rap Battle? What is Curb Your Rap Battle? I don't know what that is. Is this um time to do work for me? For me? All right, see you, Mike. <laughs> okay, Kenneth, you can start calling me Gwen Daddy. All right, let's see. Is this the like? Is this like the epic rap battle stuff? Oh no, it's not. No, this is from uh, NCBCA rap battle. <laughs> Uh, is there sound to this, or is this just lyrics? Because I will watch this. Hold on, let me see. Uh, let me open the... Yeah, okay. I'm opening it I'm opening it in YouTube, so that way it's in my history, and I'll go back and I'll watch it a tad bit later. Um, let's see. What is it? Here we go. And I need tub... Here we go. All right, now we have almost everything that way. I'll, I'll check that out. I'll check that out uh, a little bit later. Let me see. There's background music. Okay. Is it like a beat? But it's, 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 you're, just, you're just showing the lyrics on the screen though, right? Which is fine. Uh, let me get the table as well. <coughs> All right, see, we almost, we almost have everything outlined already. It's, it's getting simpler. It's getting easier all the time. All right, let's inverse. Problem is this also like makes my computer explode too. But just everything makes my computer explode when you're... Yes, when daddy. Oh, when daddy. All right, here we go. At least it's not lagging. I'm okay if my computer explodes as long as it's not lagging. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's that might not be the right way to like go about things, but what are you gonna do? All right. Uh oh, there that that's some lag going on. All right, here we go. I don't see, and that's the other thing. That's the other problem with this is I don't know what's down here. It's like a tray of some sorts. 
Do we know what this is? It's a tray? Mm. And then there's like keys or fl flowers. These might be flowers. <laughs> is when daddy the new meme? First it was like alpaca dar. Now it's when daddy. I have, I have to like keep rebranding. The, uh, which is fine because I don't even I don't like the alpaca dar thing. I don't, I don't, no, I mean I like it, but I don't like the logo thing that I did for it. I just don't have that. I don't have that expertise anymore. I used to be able to do logos, but I'm not I'm not really that great at it anymore. All right. Uh, do we do we so do we know what this is? It's a tray with like a bunch of flowers on it or something, right? So, because that's that's gonna be really, really, really complicated to color, and I'm like, I'm dreading that. I'm I'm basically just avoiding it, and pretending like it doesn't exist, because then I don't have to deal with it. All right, let's fix this up here. Ooh, okay. Might have cut off a little bit too much. So the thing that I was saying is that I also went back and I rewatched. Um, yeah, there you go. What's it called? Uh, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Do you guys know? Do you guys remember that movie at all? It's like that movie where. Uh, well, well, just let me know if you know what it is or not. But I, I forgot. I honestly forgot how good it was. Like it's like a genuinely good movie. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Like, it's not more a part of like pop culture today you know that movie yeah 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 because i don't know for some like it, that, that first of all that was like a very like technologically groundbreaking movie when it first came out because like it was the first like really good uh implementation of humans plus uh animated characters that that was before CGI if you seen I watched the I after I um after I rewatched the movie I watched the behind the scenes of it because it's actually there's a it's a got it's a good movie got a lot of praise for how the yeah right exactly yeah like the like the the interaction like it's just so good like it's just like really 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 amazing it's be, and it's like it's the interaction between like the humans and the animation is like better than some of the stuff we see today in terms of like CGI stuff. It's really crazy. Um, so one of the first things that I did after watching it is on YouTube, you can actually find the behind the scenes of it. It's like 30 minutes long and I watched that right away and it's like the amount of work that went into making that movie is really crazy. And like you don't even notice half of it. Like you don't even notice half of its genius. Like they had to they, oh my god, they had to like, oh, it's crazy. They had to build an entire like mechanical rig just to move around the cigar because they wanted the baby to be able to, they wanted the baby smoking a real cigar. It, it was just insane. So they had to like build an entire mechanical rig for each angle of the, each angle that the baby would be filmed at. I, it was it was insane. So that, just to, to hold the cigar. And then they had to paint over him. Oh my god, it was crazy. And that was be that was before like any digital stuff was even a thing. So all of the, on top of the fact that like they had to build all these crazy stuff to get the to get real life objects interacting with the animation. Then they had to do for like the lighting and the shading on all the characters and everything. It was it was like five different layers. I think they said it was between like the shadows, the highlights, the base, the um the uh the 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 transparency and the uh the interaction with actual light sources five different for every for every frame there were five different drawings of a single character and it's like what what it was just insane um so i definitely recommend first of all rewatching that movie cuz it's really good I would say underrated, but I mean, like, it was very, like, critically, it was critically well-received, and I think people know it's a good movie, but they just haven't seen it in a long time, because it is older, and, like, people see it, and they're like, oh, that's meant for kids, that, I'm not gonna watch that, but it is really good, and I recommend 
going to rewatch it like I did because it was it was it was very good. All right, let me see. Let's let's color some of this. <clears throat> and just like I said, like just like the amount of work that went into it was just. It's it's hard. It's it honestly it's hard to explain like how crazy all of that was. Let's see. This is weird here, huh? This is stuff that I was doing. I think I did this last night. Oh no no. I guess I did that two nights ago. No no no. I think I think I did this last night. But this should be more like that. Perfect. There you go. Looks a little bit better. All right, so now let's 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 get this down to colorizing mode. And a nice like baby blue box here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I mean, let me let me play around with it a little bit more. Fix the edge there. I think this is going to be... I need another color in here to get this silver shining through. But I'm going to try... Well, maybe not. Maybe not. If I zoom out. At this point, I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit like cutting corners a little bit. Let's see. Let's do like a nice... like pale but also desaturated but also nice blue I don't know if I should go like the extra mile hmm let's see where is the silver top if let me just uh, am I able to drag that up maybe not let me just drag this underneath everything else. Oh, I can't drag that underneath everything else now. Uh, let me try. See, this is where like. Ah, okay. This is where, this is where some of the uh, the layering, the layer hi hierarchy is getting a little bit crazy. But it's good. At least I named everything because I usually don't name any of my layers. And if you've ever seen me work in another Photoshop project, I never name name any of my layers. And it's like. A complete disaster to navigate around especially I mean for this one for this one I had to this is like I have no I have no choice I've got to I've just got to like I've got to get my my act together and start naming stuff because um, you can see I have like dozens of layers and if I didn't it, it would just be it would just be impossible but okay, it's just fine it's fine now it's fine now <clears throat> all right let's see so let me get the silver top up here uh, let me just do a rush job first. To see how this will look. To just give me an idea, basically. And I honestly would have to say that, yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. Uh, 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 so let's do that. All right, so let me rotate this again once more, once more. All right, to a to a, a level that I can actually use. All right, perfect. And then this one, this I kind of have to be more a lot more careful with because it seems like it wouldn't matter that much, but because it's there's such a stark contrast between these two things here. It kind of does. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just making sure that I had a nice feathering. I can come back in and then feather it out too. And that'll help in terms of like just making things blend a little bit more and be less harsh. And in this case, when we're going between like this really nice, soft, uh, innocent blue versus like the silver of the, of the little like clasp here. It's helpful. Uh, 
Master of Disguise. That's another great movie. If you if you want to watch, it, I it used to be on Netflix. I think they finally I think they took it off. But if you want to watch like a really terrible kids movie, it's a, 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 Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Really great kids movie. It's 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 really not a kids movie at all. It just happens to have animation in it and some characters from like kids cartoons. But it's really not a kids movie. I mean, it's a, it's a very serious movie, and a very you know, a pretty, a pretty uh, difficult movie to understand, I feel like, for kids. Because there's like, a lot of conspiracies going on and, like, you know, people doing bad things. I don't know. I, like, I, I, I don't see it as a kid's movie at all. But anyway, that, that, if you want to count it as a kid's movie, that's a really good kid's movie to watch. If you want a really bad kid's movie to watch, watch uh, The Master of Disguise. Because that's a really, really great, terrible kid's movie. That's like that's like it's like the prequel, the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> How they're they're actually I find them, I find the Star Wars prequels very entertaining because of how bad they are. That's what Master of Disguise is like. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Get in with the music. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. We're getting closer and closer to having to work on that tray. And I'm getting more scared and more scared about working on that tray. Ah. And it's basically... Uh oh <laughs> Oh, no. Yes! Swag! Yes! Thank you! Master of Disguise is so good. It's such an enjoyable movie. Preach, preach. I love I love Dana Carvey, <laughs> and I love just how stupid that movie is. It's so bad. It's such a terrible movie, but it's so good though. <laughs> it's such a good movie. I love that movie. I want to be a master of disguise. I want to be a master of disguise. It's a, you, you have to watch. It's a must watch. It's like it's like a top top ten movies of all time. It's it's seriously one of my it's it is seriously one of my favorite movies too, because of how enjoyable it is. It's certainly not good. It's certainly terrible. <laughs> but you must watch if you haven't. <sighs> okay, let me see. Let's some let's see some other things. Westworld season two. I don't know how many people here watch Westworld, but I love Westworld. I watched the first season um, on it. For, that's the show on HBO. <clears throat> Westworld is so good. You have to watch it. If, you, if, you, if anyone is like looking for a show to watch because like Game of Thrones is done now, uh, or is it, is it over? Is Game of Thrones over or, like, or is it's going to be over, right? But I don't think it's actually over yet. Is that what it is? Let me just get like a nice sharp edge here. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's going to be over. So if you're looking for another HBO show to watch, Westworld, you have to watch. I feel like, I mean, it was so like critically uh, acclaimed that I feel like people know about it now. I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not. But if you don't, then definitely start knowing about it because it's really good <clears throat> and the second season oh the second season is coming back this month it's coming back this a uh, game of thrones has one more season left okay so i mean it's basically over though i see i see one more season and it's like okay it's over i think isn't that kind of like the feeling surrounding it right that like it's over now right Cause like even HBO is moving on. They're, they're doing um they're doing like a prequel, right? Or not a not a prequel, a spinoff, right? They're doing a spinoff universe or something. Cause obviously that's such like a large cash cow that they can't just give it up entirely. But let's get some of these these tubs. Here we go. They're doing like a spin-off series, but uh, aside from the spin-off series, 
HBO is like, yeah, we have so much more money now because that was, it was a huge cash cow, but they were also spending a ton of money to make the show too. And now, oops. And now a bunch of these other shows um, are going to be getting like a lot of funding because HBO just has so much more money on their hands. So Westworld season two is they're gonna it's gonna be like this huge like ambitious season, um, full of like I don't, I don't even know I I I refuse to watch the trailer for it. That's like my new thing now. It's like I'm not I'm not watching the trailer for any movies or, um, any shows. Like I don't want I don't want any spoilers. I don't want any spoilers, and also I don't really like like the hype the hype, the whole hype culture. It's like oh my god I'm so hyped for this movie. I don't know, does that make sense? It's because, like, you know... It, it more so for movies than TV shows, I feel like. But, like, they announce it, like, f f a year in advance, and then they're, like, you know... Just, like, tr teaser trailer after teaser trailer, and it's, like, just give me the movie already. Like, we get it. The movie's coming out, you know? And I just... I, <laughs> I don't want to be, like, caught up in that anymore. I just want to watch the movie and be done with it. And so that's what I'm. The, I, but for Westworld, for Westworld also, I don't want any spoilers because that's like one of the shows. It's, it, there's only a couple of shows like that where it's like, like Lost was like that. Um, the Leftovers was like that. That's another HBO show that was ending. Hannibal was like that. Uh, one of my favorite shows of all time, where there's like so much speculation in terms of what's going to happen, what's going to be happening the next week. That, like, I don't want any spoilers because half of the fun of watching the show is to, like, speculate what's going to be going on, like, later on in the season. And so I'm afraid that, like, I know I, I'm, I'm, I have faith in, like, HBO's marketing team, but I have also been burned by other trailers and things that, like, reveal the entire movie, for example. And it's like, I don't want that to happen with Westworld as well. So I'm just be I'm just playing it extra safe, being extra careful about things. And um I didn't watch the trailer for it, but I am very, very, very excited for it. And I guess we'll get to see. Um I you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that because now, now I'm I've sort of opened myself up to a troll to come in and be like, ha 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 this is what happens in the trailer or you know, whatever. But I suppose it's too late now. All right. Is that too bright? No, it's not too bright. I might desaturate that a tiny bit. Like that. It's like a cream. What are all, what are all these like creams and perfumes and makeups and things? All right. I'm liking that. We got... Okay. <laughs> I was about to say we got a lot of work done. We didn't get a ton of work done. We got... A decent amount of work done. I think that still might be a little bit too bright. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I just don't want it to be too desaturated because then it starts blending in with the other green stuff around it. Yeah, that's good. Cool, 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 cool. And we did, we did need more blue down there. That looks good. That tray, that tray is going to be like the last thing. That tray, tray... Ah, okay. So we have, okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be winding down now. The stream is going to be ending soon. I'm gonna end a little bit early. I started a little bit late. I'm ending a little bit early. Whatever. B BFD. Big freaking deal. I'll be back again tomorrow, streaming, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, hopefully. Um, let's see what we have left. Let me, let me just analyze to see what we have left. We have. This whole back area, oh god, like, this is just so, another mirror, we have mirrors within mirrors within mirrors here. And, uh, it makes things very complicated, because you gotta do things, you, you have to do these complicated shapes, and then you have to do them like four times on top of that. Yeah, okay, so we have this whole background here, so many more creams and boxes of things, but... They're out of focus. The The main idea, the main goal with that would be to um, just not mess it up in a way that's distracting, basically. Because at this point, 
I'm honestly kind of over this photo. Like, I'm ready to move on. Like, it's, it's about that time to move on. So when I get to, like, things in the background here, I'm just going to try to go through these as quickly as possibly possible. I'm going to start reusing colors all over the place, which is not good because that obviously makes things feel a lot less realistic. But, okay. Uh, so we have this, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, then we have this... The, this whole area back here, um, oh, which, which is the same, that's the same window. This window back here, I believe, is this window here. The angle on this is strange because uh, of the mirror and then the angle that we're taking it from. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, and this, I might actually keep gray. This I have to color. This is like the 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 window, the window sill, the window outline, the 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 like the garnish around it, <laughs> the furniture garnish. That I have to color absolutely. Um, some stuff back in here I might have to color too. But that is just like a wall. I don't know what that is. I might I might just color that in black, uh, just to get it over with. In which case I wouldn't have to do anything in here either because that's already black. There's a tiny bit back here. This is just more wood, I believe. Because if we're going by that, it would be like something here, like a window sill, like edging over here. Uh, same thing out here. Uh, dresser, uh, like a cupboard. So we really only have we have that this, this area here, which which will take some time. It will. We have to figure out what we're doing here, but it should be fairly quick. Uh, it should be fairly quick, and I'm counting, I'm gonna count this little sliver of whatever this is in with that. And then aside from that, we really just have, like, this ruler, these flowers, these cards, uh, like playing cards, it looks like, to me. Uh, some magazine or some book, and then this tray with flowers and keys and coins and things on it. And that is it. That will be it. That's exciting, that's really exciting, because I've put in a lot of time in terms of this. And it's like finally, finally, finally coming together. It's finally really close to being done. <sighs> it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone that came out to watch today. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitch here, uh, twitch.tv slash wendar. And I'll, my schedule has been moving around, so if you want to see my schedule, either follow me on uh, on Discord or on Twitter at Wendar's World. Um, but mostly, just join the Discord. That link is below wherever you're watching this. Um, that's that's the place that I check the most often and update the most frequently with the most relevant information. So check that out if you want to see. Uh, thanks, Swag. Uh, yeah, and I just want to thank everyone for coming out, not only for watching, but also for all the input and helping me put things together, uh, giving me a bunch of different uh, help, a lot of, a ton of help with like the colors and everything. So I really appreciate that, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.